Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Karen's Kitchen. My voice, you can hear, is much, much better. <clears throat> I decided, since I have a recipe for vegetable broth. Hi, Erlene. Hi, sweetie. Since I have a recipe for vegetable broth, um, there's Vanita. There's Carrie. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming in. River's in here. Wow. Thank you, friend Kedrick. Thank you for inviting your followers. Let me share this out, too, while I'm at it. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. My voice is so much better, as you can tell. Um, it's much, much better. It's it's a, still a little hoarse, but it's getting a lot better than it was. Hi, Carrie. Good to see you. Welcome. Um, this is a recipe I've never made before. I've seen I've seen uh, uh, Alexis do this. I mean, as far as as saving your scraps of <clears throat> veggies and stuff to make your broth, but I've never really done it. And I found a recipe for it. And I'm going to go ahead and do it. First of all, it only takes, um, oh, thank you. First of all, it takes about a gallon. And it probably could have put a little more in here, but I thought, well, why chance it? So I've got my freezer, freezer pretty full anyway. This will take this out. So what I've got in here is uh, remnants of carrots, celery. I got some beautiful potato peelings in here. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to pour this in, my, in, my, in the pot. And now I'm going to go by, by the directions here. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Um, okay, and I got to put my uh, turmeric garlic. Is this because this is supposed to have turmeric and garlic in it? So I'm going to go ahead and put the turmeric in there. I've never heard of that, but you know I'll do what the instructions say. This will be a different kind of. Uh, um, let's see right there. I think it's one teaspoon. Yeah, one teaspoon of turmeric. Um, Oh, yeah, turmeric is a good, and it's going to take, it calls for two teaspoons of minced garlic. Well, I don't like using uh, anything, uh, you know, that comes in the store, so I just take garlic and press it. Oh, th <laughs> oh good, River. Good. I'm glad. I love people watching me, and I'm going to go ahead and just press one garlic in here. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Wow. I'm getting all the... Got it on the... Well, that really come out. You can see it really came out that time. Oh, I'm doing just fine, and my voice is much, much better than it was. When my daughter called this morning, she says, Mom, your voice is still not very good, but it's much, much better. It's getting better all the time. I'm not coughing near as much, so I'm sleeping much better, so I'm glad of that. <clears throat> Well, hi to uh, Ayana. Well, welcome to Ayana. Hope you would get some benefit out of this. Oh, yes, I finally did. Got out yesterday and got some groceries. Got my hair cut, as you can see. Um, it needed it pretty bad. So I wanted to get that done while I had a chance. So, let me throw this away. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put my, my uh, apron on. I forgot all about that. Let me go ahead and get that. I did that out, and I'll put that on. Okay. But I, I thank you, everybody, for coming in. It's because of you that those that, that did, weren't here when I did my, my periscope the other day, I'm thanking everybody for being here for me. Because it's because of you that I'm, a, I'm now a super broadcaster. Because you give me super hearts. You're here. You follow me. And um, hi, Melissa. Good to see you. What I'm going to do is try to get my water hot as much as I can. I'm going to run the water. And I think if I, as it takes to eight to nine cups of water. Um, and the best thing you can do, there are markings here. You don't want to go past this mark. You don't want to put anything past that. So I'm going to make sure I don't go past. Hi, good to see you. So I don't go over that mark. I'm going to try to get my water warm up because their water is really, really cold coming out of the faucet. <clears throat> because we've had some pretty cold weather since the snow. And our snow's almost gone. We've said, I see green grass now. The dogs can run and have play and have fun now. And I can watch, walk them like I did yesterday, which is a lot of fun too. So I'm going to try to get this water a little hot. I think it, if it'll help. It's a lot better than putting it in there cold. 
this is a four cup um, easy read measuring cup. I'm gonna put four, I think I'll put eight cups in there. It says eight to nine, I think I'll put eight. The reason I'm the reason I'm doing this is I think it would probably it would probably come to pressure just a little up oh, just right by almost right out the maximum. I think that's enough because I don't want to go over the maximum. I could it says eight to nine. Maybe I'll put a half a cup or a little bit more. Maybe I'll put another cup. That'll probably fill it right up to where it needs to be. Now that's right there. Oh okay, that there we go. It's about right where it needs to be. You know, no. Well, it's, it's below the maximum anyway. But anyway, okay, I'm going to get the lid put on it. And that's all there is to it. Okay, now make sure this is, okay. Now I'm going to put this on custom. And, <clears throat> okay, the time is already set for 30 minutes. I'm going to leave it at that because I'm doing broth, so I want it to be done for 30 minutes. So I'm going to start it. So it's going to take a little time to come to pressure and 30 minutes to cook it. And then once it's done, then I have to strain it out. You have to strain the, the broth out of the of the uh, um, your scraps. But you know that idea that, that Alexis had to make your own broth from scraps? I thought, well, that is a good idea. And then when I found this recipe, I thought, I want to try that because it's real simple. So anybody can do it. Just start saving your carrot peelings, um, the ends of your carrots, the ends of your celery, probably your peppers in that too. Oh, okay. And the ends of your peppers or whatever you, you, you don't, you know, tomatoes probably as well. Put them in a gallon bag. Is that all it is? It takes just a gallon bag. And then add your water and your turmeric and your, your garlic. And that's all there is to it. And let it um, cook for 30 minutes. And you've got it. That's all it takes. So it's it's not going to be... It, it's going to take a little while to come to pressure. As you can tell. It, it will take a... But with the hot water... Welcome back, Vanita. With hot water, it won't, it won't take near as long. Although, the <clears throat> more liquid you have in here the longer it's going to take to come to pressure. Now, my daughter was doing potato soup when she was talking to me this morning, and it seemed like it took a long time to come to pressure. Well, she had a lot more full than normal. If you, you know, the fuller you have it, and the colder the water would be, the longer it's going to take to come to um, pressure. But I want to <clears throat> put as much warm water in here because of the um, scraps are already frozen anyway, so I wanted to make sure I had some warm water on them. Um, Oh, I know. I've never been to Whole Foods to buy much. Oh, 15 minutes? Okay. Yeah, I have not been to Whole Foods to shop. And I have not been to Trader Joe's either. They're both high. Um, yeah, you're right. You're right. Of course, once this is used up, then I'll have to buy broth again. But I I make so many things with carrots and celery and stuff and um, peel them. And that... And that you know, it took me a little while to get that bag full, but if you keep at it long enough, you get it filled, and then you just, you know, save it for the next time because it's just one bag. And Alexis had asked me before, I've used this on the slow cooker. I says, no, only 30 minutes. So this is going to be kind of unique. I want to make sure. Oh, guess it's going to be flat. So, um, oh, your water is still, um, yeah, my daughter, she's got frozen water pipes. So, therefore, hi, good to see you. So therefore, they can't flush the toilet. She has no water unless they go buy some water. Um, there's a bunch of people in their <clears throat> trailer complex that are without water. Her sister-in-law isn't, though. It's ironic. She's not without water, but my daughter is. Oh, minus 12? Yeah, that'll freeze the pipes up in a hurry. But my suggestion is once they once they thaw them out, you run that water. She had she meant to turn the water on and have it come out as a trickle. But she forgot, you know. And the thing that is, you don't normally think about it. And I think that's the first time her water, her pipes have ever frozen. So, therefore, she didn't expect it to happen. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I hope you bought enough water. Yeah, you had to buy water, you know. I don't wish that on anybody. Oh, my goodness. I don't wish that on anybody to be without water. 
Oh, yeah, to flush the toilets especially. Um, yeah, they've got bottled water that they're, they're drinking. And I guess that's good for right now. Just buy a bunch of bottled water. The kids drink that. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> it is. Um, it does. It does sit dear, but, you know, she called them about 5.30 or 6.30 this morning, and they said they'd put her on the list. She's, I told her, I says, we're probably at the bottom of the list. Because they said they'd get to her. Well, here it is. Been all day long, and they haven't done anything about it yet. You know, she's probably the last one to get hers taken care of. I don't think they care. And the problem of it is, it's so important to have water. You can't go without water. So why would somebody, you know, not be concerned more than that to make sure they got there and took care of their water? You know? <clears throat> Oh, man, to put, oh, man, Erlene, really? Oh, man. Uh, well, you know, that makes sense, too. I agree, though, that maybe the pipes should be insulated. They would stay warmer a lot longer. They wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't, because, see, her being in a trailer, it, everything is outside under the skirting. Well, when the weather gets cold, their, their pipes are going to freeze. And, you know, they don't make it so very, very easy anymore, you know, um, we never really get that cold here, but if we did, I'd know exactly what to do. Um, oh, they, they have heating tape? Okay. Oh, yep, certainly does. Well, I'm glad you have. they have heating tape. However they do it, I just hope they get out there and they get it done because you can't go without water. She had to go to her sister-in-law's, the one she takes care of. She had to go to her house to take a shower. <laughs> so she can't, and so did, so did, so did my son-in-law have to walk over there to take a shower. It's crazy when you, in a freezing cold, below zero weather to go over and take a shower. Oh, oh no. It's beautiful sunshine. It's beautiful today. We're going to be, we're 36 right now, getting a high of 44. Hi, Deb. Good to see you. Welcome. Snow's almost gone. So, um, we're not going to get any more snow, <coughs> snow that I know of. Although, somebody tried, <coughs> tried to tell me yesterday. We got another snowfall coming like this. Hi, good to see you. <clears throat> I'm sure I'm sure you are so over the snow and the cold. <laughs> I would I would be able to so over it too. <clears throat> the snow and cold would be too much for me. We I mean we had, you know, over a foot of snow. That's too much in one snowfall. I'd rather it be spread out, but at least we got it over with. <laughs> yep. <coughs> In our, where I live, you get snow, it virtually shuts everything down. You know, it shuts everything down. Um, let me, oh, I got some coffee on here. Um, it shuts everything down, and, and um, where I got my hair done yesterday at Perfect Look, they were shut down all week. They couldn't, they, they weren't open. And that wrecked their business, but what can you do? Let me get a scissors to clean this up. Oh, well, it's pretty bad when, when that snow comes along like that. It was more than expected because they said, oh, seven to ten inches. And I thought, oh, that's quite a bit, but then it didn't. <coughs> oh, thank you. Oh, 88 degrees? Wow. Whoa. Wow, that's summer weather for sure. But you're in, aren't you in Arizona River? Because um, I know it would be warmer there anyway. Um, and I know it was pretty warm in Alexis's this morning. So, I mean, I'd love to take 88 degree weather too. <laughs> but um, it is what it is. Like I said, here, when we get snow... It's basically snows once, pretty good size snow. Hi, Alexis. I got everything in my pressure cooker. Um, um, this one, B B Alexis, just call for one gallon bag. Oh, you're in the sunshine. Oh, Florida. Okay, got it. Well, right, right, <laughs> wrong, wrong state, but the right, right idea. Um, oh my goodness. This thing called for one bag, one gallon bag of uh, scraps, Alexis. Then I put turmeric in it, and it said minced garlic. Well, 
you know me, I don't buy, I don't use minced garlic out of the store. So I just took one garlic clove and pressed that in it. And then you have to strain it out afterwards. I put, I put, well, hi, good to see you. I put, try to get warm water, hot water in here so it will come to pressure quicker because the, the scraps were cold anyway. They came right out of the freezer. And you just about filled the thing up to the max line too. So it's going to take a little time to come to pressure. But it's 30 minutes is all it takes to cook it. So I like the idea that you can do your own. It will taste much, much better than what you buy out of the store. And when I saw Alexis start saving her scraps to make her own broth and that, I thought, what a novel idea. Why didn't I do that a long time ago? So then when I, when I started saving them, then I started looking for recipes, Instant Pot recipes for, um, you know, vegetable broth. And the first one I found was one that you can well, you use your vegetable scraps. That's very simple. You know, you're going to take all your scraps. And I've seen other ones where... You take actual vegetables like your carrots and celery and stuff like that and make broth out. Well, you could do it that way too, but I'd rather use the scraps because the vegetables I can save for something else, like my soups and, um, yeah, that's true. You're right, Alexis. That's exactly right. You have a very good idea there, Alexis, and I'm glad that you told me about it. You know, and I watched your Periscope when you did it because I started saving. It took a little time, but I started saving and I wanted to get it out of the freezer anyway. And I thought, well, I might as well do this today, even though it's going to take a little time to cook because it takes 30 minutes. Then you got to let it release naturally. That's going to take a little time to go down. But and then you have to strain it out. But it's going to be very good, I'm sure, at the very, very end. It's going to be pretty. It's going to taste a lot better. Um, and it'll last me a little bit, too, because I use it basically I use it for soups or what have you, you know, and kind of... <clears throat> But I'm glad you finally made it in, Alexis. I figured that the, <laughs> this title would probably draw you in here because uh, I know you've been wanting to make your vegetable stock. I don't know if you've done it yet, Alexis, but this cooker is going to be so great for that. Oh, and my, my daughter. Uh, oh, you go through a lot. Oh, yeah, so do I, Arlene. I go through a lot, too. Oh, yeah, me too. I want to see what the color is for me too. Now, I did put potato peelings in this. They said you can also put potato peelings in it, parsnip peelings, um, different things that you may not normally use. So I had put some potato peelings in here. So I thought, hi, good to see you. So I thought, well, I'll try that. You know, otherwise I never had, I welcome to Periscope for the very first time. Otherwise I never, um, no. No, not really. It's in the pre it's in the quick cooker right now. It hasn't started cooking yet. I've just been talking. Um, I had to add about eight to nine cups of water. And I used turmeric and I used a, a pressed garlic, one garlic clove in it, and a gallon bag of uh, one of these gallon bags. And I'm just gonna wash this out and reuse it. Gallon bags and put them in there. The scraps like my my care my. Uh, Carrot peelings, the ends of the carrots, the ends of the celery, you know. Um, basically, that's what I have in there. A little bit from the um, tomato and uh, your peppers and stuff like that. But I would save everything like that. Start saving your scraps. My daughter can do this. She's not even vegan, and she can do it too. Um, uh, oh, you can't mute, Erlene? Oh, no. Let me, um, I'll take care of that one. I'll mute it right now. Hmm. There. There, Laura did it. <laughs> You're having all kinds of problems muting, um, Erlene. I don't know why. I don't know if Alexis can mute, but you're having problems muting. Oh, C-O at Paris Cup. Yeah, okay. Can I, can I, uh, um, Okay, can I can I uh, edit it while I'm while I'm in here? Because I don't want to I don't want to go off where you can't see me. I want to edit it, but can I edit it during the broadcast? Um, because uh, I <laughs> I've always seen you put Periscope TV. So oh, after the broadcast, okay. I'll a, a Periscope CO. Okay, I did not know that. <laughs> oh, and I want you to know, Alexis. I don't know if you saw my broadcast the other day, but I am now a super broadcaster. Finally, finally got back to me. 
And uh, I don't know when the first cash out will be. Um, oh, and they changed it and didn't tell anyone. Well, shame on them. How dare they? <laughs> well, I should have checked yours this pro uh, before I come in here to see what you had in yours. Uh, oh, thank you. It finally happened. I applied back in December, and I kept after them and kept after them, and they never got back with me. Finally, they did, and they said, look for an update. And finally, I had all the, the payment information. I filled it out with my email and everything. And then they said, well, check back in a few days, and possibly maybe two weeks will be another update. Well, I just checked this other day. I think it had been a few days I waited, and I went back in there and finally showed my star count. It said, and in the top, it said Super Broadcaster. So I was, I thought, yay, I finally did it. It takes a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, perseverance to come in here. But I don't, I don't take the credit for this. I give you guys the credit because you come in here, you support me. You give me the super hearts. You give me the regular hearts, which I do appreciate. And if it weren't for that, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Um, oh, thank you. I just got it cut yesterday. Um, if it weren't for you giving me super hearts, and the regular hearts coming in here and supporting me every day, I wouldn't I wouldn't be where I'm at. I'm I'm thankful for that. I think I've got something like two hundred and thirty thousand super hearts right now. So that's what what the count is right now, because it just keeps going up until you know I get the cash out. I suppose they'll they'll start back over to zero again. But it's, they should. <laughs> they should just go down to 185 and give me the rest for the next time. But anyway, I don't know how they're gonna do that, but it's gonna take me a while to get it, I'm sure. But you know, I'm thankful that I got that far. Um, like I said, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't be where I'm at. You know, because it's been a long struggle. It's easy sometimes to get the viewership. I can get the viewers in here for the Periscopes, but it's getting the replays. Sometimes I have a hard time getting the replays. I don't know why, but a lot of people don't. And I know um, Alexa, she'll get... She'll get... One, <clears throat> Anywhere from 100 to 200 on her, re uh, on her broadcast every day. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. And I keep trying. I've gotten over 100 in mine already. I think one Periscope I did have were 200. But it's very, very rare that I get that many. But uh, absolutely. I never did feel bad. It's just been my voice has been plaguing me. It's still a little hoarse, but it's a lot, lot better than it was. A lot better. Because it's, it was... A struggle trying to get myself this far because uh ha, <clears throat> I think that's a bot uh, yeah that's a bot can somebody get that or I'll get that that's a bot I'll get it there we go oh you finally got to see Erlene you were able to mute that time I think some of them are set up that you can't mute them because they're through Twitter or something you can't hardly mute them you know I kind of try to try to mute them on my end and then go and block them afterwards you know it's like uh Alexa said this morning on her replay, yeah, I know it is. She said the bots, they aren't the big trouble. It's the its the trolls. Um, oh, that's okay, sweetie. That's okay. It's the trolls that are the worst because sometimes they come in with nasty comments. You know, your bots just repeat people. And sometimes it's funny the way they repeat. You know, that's annoying enough, but to have a troll come in and say some of the things they do is pretty doggone bad. I know... Uh, from what I can tell, Alexis had a lot of bots in hers this morning, and she was muting them left and right, blocking them left and right. <clears throat> uh, but I'm going to leave the moderators on for right now because I do need help because I don't always see when I'm busy doing something, I don't always see what was on. And if I miss it, then I have my moderators to help me catch them. And I'm thankful for that because you help, you help catch the ones that I don't always get. And uh, so I'm going to keep them for right now and see how it goes. Um, but anyway... Um, what is everybody's weather doing? I know Alexis, it was 65 this morning and you were going to get colder. We are, I checked it a few minutes ago before I came in here, 36 degrees, supposed to get a high of 42, I think, and the sunshine, beautiful sunshine. Snow is almost gone, hardly any left. I went and walked the dogs yesterday, 12 in Chicago, oh my goodness, 14 degrees, wow, <laughs> my goodness. You guys can keep that cold weather. And 36 or 16, well, that's cold there too, Erlene. You got cold again. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Erlene, your hat's coming in handy now, isn't it? I had made Erlene one of those hats, and I had sent it to her. 
And uh, she, I think she really appreciates it. Uh, South Dakota, 60 degrees. Oh, that's okay. I'd love to have 60 degree weather. <laughs> 20 feels like nine. Well, you did go up a little bit, sweetie. Oh, it's 66. I only went up one degree from when I saw your periscope this morning, <laughs> Alexis. Oh, you had more snow? Yeah. Well, if you don't get as much as we had, you're lucky. But, uh, uh, we need the heat. Yes, we need, we need to go to Alexis' house and get warm and get, get the heat there. Um, I don't, I don't like the cold weather, but you know, this being March and the weather doing what it's doing, us getting that real bad snow, of course it was at the end of February, would you believe we've actually had snow on the ground for over a week? It came a week ago last night and we, and was on the ground all week long and it still there some, it's not completely gone yet. Some areas have a lot more snow than I have because they don't get any sun beat down in their yard. It stays shady. So it's not going to melt as quick. So, but mine is all but almost gone. <clears throat> you can see the grass again. The dogs have grass to walk, walk in now instead of a bunch of snow that they couldn't hardly find their way through. But I went and walked them yesterday and it's still a little dicey somewhat. I had to uh, be careful when I walked and if there was piles of snow, then I'd turn around and walk out in the street and go down till I could could walk on the sidewalk because there was some areas when they when they took the snow off their sidewalks I piled it up at the end of their sidewalk well you can't I didn't want to walk on that because I don't want to slip and fall the dogs couldn't figure out how to get on it either I said well let's go out in the street so walked out in the street and and uh, got away from it that way but I was I wanted to walk them because I needed my walk I, I was cooped up all last week couldn't walk uh, lots of snow and tornadoes Oh, tornadoes in the summer. Yeah, yeah. There you go, Arlene. You finally got it muted. See, you finally did it. Yeah, that was weird. It's, it's starting to come up right now, so it's almost it's almost pressurized. It's almost up to the top. You can hear it hissing a little bit. So it's it took a, it didn't take as long to come to no now see now it's pressurized. So it'll start counting the time pretty quick. Yeah, finally it didn't take as long because I I had the water hot. See, if I would have kept the cold water, it would still would not be pressurized yet. But that's why I thought, well, you got the scraps are cold. You just better put warm water on top of it. And I can already smell it. Um, put warm water on it, and that'll help bring it up, which it did bring it up. It's going to take 30 minutes to cook, but that's, and then I have to let it slow naturally. Um, and sometimes that takes 15, 20 minutes, it depends. Natural a release. I can't release it myself. I know when I saw that, my daughter told me about that this morning. Um, when she told me, when she told me that Luke Perry had died, I says, oh my goodness, he was only 52. 52. Man. And, uh, yeah, way too young. Well, there was one, I don't recommend the show. I used to watch it and I don't watch it anymore. A show called Cheaters. There was a, there was a guy on there, and I just noticed today that he was only 30 years old and just passed away in February. 30 years old and passed away. They said it was a drug overdose. That's what they're saying, possibly. Because he got real thin, and he didn't look as good. He didn't look healthy anymore. You know, that's so sad. Ugh. Yeah, he was on uh, 90210. He played with Shannon Doherty and Ian Zuring. Because I used to watch that show on 90210. Only 52, degree, uh, 52 years of age. You know, and that's that's sad. You know, but it happened. Catherine Hellman, if everybody knows her, she passed away over the weekend. I believe it was, or was it Friday night? My daughter told me she was eighty nine. For she had Alzheimer's. She played on Who's the Boss? That was the show with Tony Tony Danza and Judith Light. She played Judith Light's mother on that show. Um, she was really funny, so I remembered her, and and so she's gone now too. So. You know, when the one goes, they all, they're, they're about three go, I guess. <laughs> they go in pairs. Um, yeah, Mona. That's what her name was. That's right. It was Mona. I couldn't think of it. You're right. That's what it was, Mona. Yeah, thank you. For, thank you for reminding me. I knew, <laughs> I, I just, when I was told, I knew what show she was on. I just couldn't remember the part she played. But that's right. She played Mona. She was very, very funny. But, you know, that things happen like that. None of us are promised tomorrow. You know, we get up in the morning. We, be, we can be thankful that we, um, 
You can be, we can be thankful that oh, they died today. Oh, yeah. We can be thankful that, that um, you know, we're, we're here because we're never promised tomorrow. You know, from one day to the next. We don't know if we're going to be here tomorrow. So we take each day as it comes. We live, that, we live that day like that's our last day on earth. You know, I'm not saying eat, drink, and be merry because I wouldn't do that. But take that day and give it to the Lord. Get in your Bible and read the Bible, you know, and be prepared. You know, we never know. You know, Luke Perry didn't expect to go so young either, but you know what happens. Um, oh, you're right. You're right. This world is so crappy. Exactly. Leaving the kids would be the hardest part of the whole thing. I guess, um, they, I don't know, Luke Perry had a fiancé, I think it was. You know, and left her, you know, it's, it's sad. It's so sad, you know. It, he's only 52, you know. Life is too short, you know. Live each day like, it, like, like, like you know, your, your life depended on it. But you know something? Um... It's, it's, sad, it's sad the way things happen. He, you know, I think he said, they said he had a stroke or whatever. It's t it's too bad. Um, he has two, oh, he has two daughters. Yeah, you know, he's got to leave his daughters like that. Um, what show was he on? Luke Perry? He was on 90210 with Shannon Doherty, Ian Ziering, and there was somebody else that we, I can't remember who it was. My daughter and I were trying to think this morning. Um, 90210, it's supposed to be a, I think it's a zip code in California. It was on back in the, what was it, late 70s, early 80s. Uh, could be. Jenny Garth. That's right. Jenny Garth was in there, on there too. Exactly. I forgot about her. Yeah, that's right. Jenny Garth was part of it. Yes. Yes, she was. Couldn't remember. See, I don't watch those shows, you know. I don't have TV, so I don't watch them. So I wouldn't remember those. Um, oh, 1990s. I couldn't remember what it was on. Yeah, that's right. It was in the 1990s. I did watch it. I thought it was a pretty good show. It was a, it was a, it was a zip code, I guess, in California, um, in, in, in L.A. It was a very, very, pretty good show. And I didn't, don't particularly care for Shannon Doherty, but I guess they're going to have a remake of it. But her, she's not coming back. And, of course, Luke Perry's not coming back. Yeah, well, obviously not. He's gone, but. But he wasn't coming back anyway. Even if he still was alive, he wasn't planning on going back for the remake. So, but you know, they take a lot of these shows and they start remaking them. <clears throat> oh, now see, it's, it's already 28 minutes, so. I don't know <clears throat> if they're going to make it any better than it was before or what they're going to do. I really don't know how they're going to do it. But I know I don't. I didn't really care for Shannon Doherty too, too much. She seemed like mm, a snob to me, somewhat of a snob. You know, um, I just didn't care for her very well at all. You know, like my daughter said, she's not well because she had breast cancer, almost died. So, and I didn't even know that. I was not aware that she had breast cancer. That's how huh, out of the loop I am, you know. But it, we never know. We we just do not know. But it is sad. I just Then I started seeing it on, on Facebook after my daughter told me. I didn't see it at first because that's how she saw it. It was on Facebook and I never saw it until after well, I was talking to her and I says, oh, yep, there it is. It's, it's really, it's really sad, you know. But he was a great actor. Not as well known as some of them are, though. I will have to admit that he wasn't all that well known. So, but uh, when she said you, Luke Perry, I knew exactly who he was. I remembered him. You know, I'm pretty good with um, pretty names. But when she talks about Catherine Hellman, she asked me if I knew who it was. I says, yeah, I know who that is. She didn't know if I remembered her or not. I said, oh, yeah, I remembered her. She played on more than one. She played on Who's the Boss and other shows as well. But that's the one I re really remember her playing uh, in Who's the Boss. Um, hi, Crunchy Lemon Drop. Good to see you. Welcome. But like I said, we never know when our time is up. We just take each day and live as, in, in, for the moment, you know, and do the best we can. I've got this in here is coming. Is, you can see it's, it's, uh, it's got 26 minutes to go, and then I have to let it naturally release, which does take a little time. But it'll get there. Um, hi, good to see you. Welcome. I'm kind of curious to see what this is going to look like as far as the color is concerned. It's gonna if it's gonna be a deep color or a light color because basically what I had was a gallon of scraps. So this bag here I had full of scraps. Like 
um, carrot peelings, the ends of the carrots, celery. Um, I did have some potato peelings in there as well. I didn't put any onion stuff in there. Uh, peppers. Um, no, only just a, about a couple years. Welcome to Periscope for the very first time. Only about two years since I've been vegan. So I have not, I have not been vegan all that long. Um, Michael Jackson. I never said I supported Michael Jackson. Wow, that person's got me mixed up with somebody else. <laughs> I never supported Michael Jackson. He's gone too, so I never supported him one bit. So I don't know who you're talking. If you're talking about the one that passed away, hey, that's the only uh, one that I know anything about. I don't know any other Michael Jackson. So, um, but I thank you for coming in here anyway. Um, but you got me, probably got me mixed up with somebody else. And that's easy to do. <laughs> There's a, you know, could have been somebody else that said it. But I'm thankful for everybody I get in here. Like I said before, I'm the only super broadcaster because people are willing to come in here and support me. Be here when I do a Periscope. You give me super hearts. You give me the regular hearts. And I do appreciate that very, very much because I've already got over 5 million hearts. Uh, you're welcome. Um, I've got over 5 million regular hearts. Uh, 5 million. I'm close to 500 million, 300,000, I think, something like that. And I got 230,000 super hearts. Um, hi, good to see you. Welcome. Good to see you. Um, thank you. Thank you for coming in. I, I appreciate everybody comes in here. Um, they, oh, welcome to Periscope for the very first time. Getting a lot of newcomers, and that's good, too. I know I've got a, a viewership now of uh, followers of over 4,000. Um, and this keeps going up. I mean, I can remember when I had about 2,000, but it's going up more and more and more. And I'm thankful for that, that, that uh, people are willing to come in here and be, share out, support me. I always feel this way. If it's the content that people want to see, they're going to come in and watch. If it's not content they want to see, they're not going to. If you've got good, top, good content, the viewership will be there. But if your content, if your content is just mediocre, on the poor side, you're not going to have as much in viewership. And I found that to be true in some areas. Um, you have 200 followers. Well, that's a start. That's a start. But you'll get there. You'll get there, sweetie. You'll get there. Um, hi, Carrie. Good to see you. Welcome. Um, I, it's taken me a long time to get as many followers as I have. They just keep adding. You know, I just keep getting more and more and more people wanting to follow me. I don't know if it's because of my cooking scopes or because of uh, other scopes I've done. I don't know, but they like, they say they like my cooking scopes. They're learning a lot from me. I know Vanita has. She has learned a lot from my vegan scopes. And she'll message me and say, well, how much of this and how much of that? And I, I did not look that recipe up, Vanita, to let you know about the, um, if she's still in here, about the uh, garlic in that, um, what you mentioned yesterday, the, the uh, chickpea stew, I don't know. I'll have to go look that up. I didn't look it up, so I don't know. Just use your own judgment, probably your own taste. It's up to you because some people like a lot more garlic than other people do. So use your use your own judgment and put in as much as you want. You know, that's basically what I would do to start with. You know, and if it's too much, then that, the next time you cut it back. And if it's not enough, then when you make it again, you can put a little bit more in. Just go maybe a, a clove or two at a time or maybe one clove at a time. And if it's not enough, then just add on to it. Just keep, just keep on, uh, add more. Um, oh, it was, it was delicious. I had three bowls and I finished it that day. <laughs> I finished it that day. It was so good. And you know, what surprised me is that red lentils, which I did not know this, but they turn yellow when they're cooking. Uh, you know, your brown ones don't do that. But it, it called for red lentils. It was particular to red lentils. And I didn't want to make it without red lentils. Um, the store I went to yesterday to get groceries, they have red lentils in, in bulk. But I happened to find them at Kroger's in bags, organic. So I got a couple bags of them. Um, yeah, reformed cook cooker. Yep, yep. Oh, yes. It was so delicious. I had three bowls and finished it that day. I was so hungry for it. I just couldn't believe it was that good, you know. 
Um, I could have frozen it up, but my fr my, fr my freezer is pretty full, so I didn't have a place to put it anyway. So I thought, might as well just eat it. And it was really cold last week, as you know, with all the snow. So I want to get rid of it. Yeah, they are. They are. A, they're considered a legume, and um, they're very good for you. Oh, oh, yeah. You know, I've never put it over pasta, but I put lentils in tacos already. They're real good in tacos. I use chickpeas in tacos, quinoa in tacos. Quinoa is good too. Quinoa is a grain where lentils are, are like a legume. I guess you can consider uh, them some, uh, like a bean. They're a small bean, but that's what I think that's what beans are. They're legumes. So you can consider it that. But they're really healthy for you. <clears throat> and they're really small compared to your brown lentils or your green ones for that matter. They're a lot smaller. But mine are organic. What I have is organic. So I... <clears throat> I bought a couple bags at Kroger's and I just used what I needed for that soup and then I, you know, have some more I want to make. Because I'll make that soup again because it was so delicious. Um, and you don't have to be vegan to make that soup either because it had all good ingredients in it. It had garlic in it, it had carrots, it had celery, it had onions in it. I mean, it was so good, plus your red lentils. Of course, at the very end, I put coconut milk in it, a little bit of coconut milk, spinach, and some lime juice. Oh, man, I could not believe how good that, that red lentil soup was. It was just absolutely mouth-watering. Oh, that's why I had three bowls and finished it. It was just so good, and I was hungry for it. I was cold because it was cold outside, and I was looking at the snow, and I said, well, I'm going to eat this. The snow's on the ground. It's going to make me feel so much better, warm me up, and I'm glad I did it. Let's see what we got left now. Oh, it's getting up there 19 minutes, so... I'm glad I did it because, and I'm glad I made it. Now it's time, it's time for Alexis to make that one, the red lentil spinach. No, she told me to make the corn chowder. I've got to make that one the next because that looks so good when she made that the other day. If you didn't watch Alexis's um, Periscope, back and watch her replay that she made. I think it was Friday when she made the corn chowder. That looks so good. And that's in the new uh, uh, Season's Best Cookbook or Recipe Book. Um, Oh, you're making that tonight? Oh, man. Um, I believe it's in this one, yes. It's in this one right here. This is the new one that, that just came out for the quick cooker. And it looks so good. I mean, there's stuff in here I won't make. But, I mean, look at the picture of that. Doesn't that look good? That looks so delicious to make. And, and uh, I want to make the strawberry cheesecake. Um, I don't think that's in this one. It's in the quick cooker cooking guide that, that come with the... Uh, Oh, yeah, here's one. Yeah, I'll show you. It's in, I believe it's in this one here. I want to make the strawberry cheesecake. I've got the stuff for it. This chocolate pudding I'd like to make, too, but I'm going to have to kind of tweak that a little bit. Make this in a quick cooker. That looks very good. Um, here's the strawberry cheesecake where you use the uh, spring form pan. Um, oh, it's... <coughs> I saw it, early. I did see it. There is the... Um, strawberry cheesecake. I want to make that. Doesn't that look good? I'm going to make that when I, one of these days. It does. And to think you can make it in the quick cooker, use a spring form pan. Wow. You know, it's, it's amazing what you can make in these things. You know, um, that's why I, I want to make sure I got everything because um, my daughter wants to try to make two things at once, but she hasn't done that yet. Like I said, she made potato soup today. And it didn't come out like soup like she wanted to. I said, well, that's a little bit of trial and error. It's your first time using it. But she said it tasted really good. Um, <clears throat> just a minute. Um, I'll show you what I do have. I got this yesterday at the store um, that I that I shop at. It's Winco Foods. This is non-GMO, and it's cream cheese bliss. This is vegan, vegan cream cheese. This is what I would use for it. Um, it's called Go Veggie, and uh, this is supposed to be really good. This is what I'm going to use. So um, I like stuff like this. It's a cream cheese alternative. So that's that's what we use. We don't use actual cream cheese. Um, no, 
No way, I'm not a chef. I just come in here and cook for people because I do have some Pampered Chef tools. I like to come in here and I like to show people how to use the Pampered Chef tools. Um, Alexis Candu is in here right now. She's our the consultant that we all deal with. And uh, hi, Gabe, real good to see you. You're welcome. Um, and she's, she's the one that kind of got me started on Pampered Chef. She sells Pampered Chef on the sideline because she has a, a eight hour day of job. So she sells Pampered Chef. Um, oh, Better Health, Whole Foods and Trade. Oh, has this same, has this same, yeah, yeah, I, I see it. Has this same one, Orlean? Because I got this at Winco Foods. They're the ones that have the, uh, the uh, sour cream, vegan sour cream, and they also have some of the uh, Daya cheese that I like. I happen to see this, and because that cream cheese okay, uh, takes two of these, so I wanted to get two of them because it takes two of them to make that. So that's what I would use instead of actual cream cheese. Anything that's vegan and non-GMO. Oh, it's a different brand? Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I don't go to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. Uh, yeah, they do. Um, yeah, it used to be Cub Foods years ago, and it's close to me. And it's right over where I get my hair cut anyway. Um, it's like a little strip mall, so I, I went over there and, and got some groceries, after, and then I got my hair cut. Um, I have only been in, in Whole Foods in the restaurant part. I've never, oh, to a foodie brand, I think I've heard of that. Um, but I've never been in the, in the store for shopping. Maybe just to look around a little bit, but I never bought anything. Um, Whole Foods is kind of an, in an odd place here in, in town. And also uh, Trader Joe's is kind of a little ways from me. So I really don't go there. Uh, no, oh no, <laughs> this is my, no, I'm 71 years old. My hair turned gray quite a few years ago. Oh, you got the sour cream one. I've got the sour cream one too. Um, I bought that as well early because I like to put that in my tacos. It almost tastes as, it tastes as good as a real sour cream, well, even better. But um, I wanted to make sure I got this because when I make that cream cheese, that cheesecake, I want to be able to make this. Um. <laughs> yes, yeah, 71. Thank you so much. I, I don't feel it sometimes, and sometimes I do. Uh. Wow, good, dear. I'm glad. Uh. Oh, baby. <laughs> About right, yes, you would have to use your whole paycheck on it. Probably Trader Joe's too. That's funny. Whole paycheck. I would have never thought of that, but you're probably right. I think you make you got to make a lot of money to be able to uh, to go to that store, and that's why I hesitate going there. I mean, I buy organic stuff, but their stuff would be way out of sight. I mean, I get stuff at, at uh, Walmart and Winco Foods, but it's it's reasonable. But you go there and it probably costs way too much. I just, I'm afraid, you know. Um, I It probably, probably is. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not ever going to visit Trader Joe's because it's in the shopping mall um, out, out a little ways. It's the opposite direction of where I get my dogs groomed. Um, I might get there some sometime when I get the dogs groomed. Um, oh, that's what I heard. But they are quite expensive. I Like I said, you... <laughs> You almost have to be a multimillionaire to afford them. You know, they're just so expensive. But you know, a lot of stuff that, if I want to buy vegan stuff like that, you could probably get it through Amazon as well. You know, you wouldn't have to sh sh Or um, there's also a, a Vitacost. There's a there's a, a an app that Erlene and I have called Vitacost. You can get stuff like that on it too. So... I mean, I could do that as well as going out to the store because if I don't have to get out and go to them places, I'm not going to do it. Because like I said, they're in a far, far um, out area. It's hard to get to, and I don't want to bother with it. I'd have to use my GPS, and I'd probably get lost. Even with GPS, sometimes I get lost. Go figure. Huh? <laughs> uh, oh, I bet they do. Um, oh, sourdough. She loves sourdough. Now, that sounds good. Um uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. They would have a lot of good things, I know. I'm, I'm tempted to try them one of these times, but I think I better have, <laughs> I better plan on, on not having a lot of money left. Um, of course, I'm trying to limit what I buy. I only buy as much as I need. Um, what is Winco? If you know the name of 
Club Foods, that's what it used to be years ago. It's a regular grocery store. Um, I don't know if you want to call it a discount store or whatever, but it's a regular grocery store. They do have a lot of organic now. They have stuff in bulk where I can get my um, almonds and get my cashews. They have lentils and stuff in bulk. They even have cereal in bulk. They have oats in bulk, all kinds of stuff in bulk. Um, it's just a regular grocery store. Um, I don't go there very often, but I do go. I did go yesterday because I got my hair cut. That's why I went there because they're, they're right next door. <coughs> oh, are they? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, <coughs> yes and no. Um, they don't, they just have a few bulk items. They're, they're not, Costco has a lot of bulk. Um, where Winco is on just one certain area, they have bulk. Everything else is on the shelves of the grocery store, you know, like your peanut butter and, you know, your syrup and cake mix and your oils and stuff like that. So it's actually not, um, like Costco in that way, but it seems to be when you, when you look at the bulk stuff, they only have, um, let's see, maybe four or five items of bulk, bulk stuff. They don't have very much, but, um, I do buy from them when they do have it. Um, yeah, they do have a merit at Winco. They have a uh, bins of, uh, spices, your beans, uh, like lentils and quinoa. Um, yeah. And yes, they do have spices as well, but I figure those spices are very expensive. Oh my goodness, I saw those spices and I thought, that's out of sight, man. Wow. You know, uh, <laughs> no, not exactly. It's not very pretty and it's kind of messy right now. So I'm, I'm going to stay put right where I'm at in my kitchen. So um, this home was built in 1990. So um, it's got, a, it needs a lot of work done to it. It's not perfect by any means. I need a new roof on it, which I, how, well, I'm going to have to get one of those. I need a kitchen floor. The kitchen floor is not very good. It's old and stuff. So, um, so I, I, I prefer not because it doesn't help me. I have laminate floor in the rest of the house, except for the bathroom. Um, so I have to take good care of that laminate floor. Other than that, it's, that's the only thing new in here is the laminate floor. Um, oh, I know. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yes, I know. I know. Um, no, my son is, though. My son lives in Dexter uh, um, on, off on Highway 58. And I guess the Amtrak was stuck there for about a day or two because there was uh, branches on the, on, the, on the tracks and they were stuck there and couldn't go anywhere. Um that's what I heard. My ex-husband was telling me about that. I didn't know anything about it. No, he lives about 21 miles from me in Dexter. Real nice area to drive down Highway 58. You keep on going, you're going to end up going to Willamette Pass where all the snow's at. Um, getting to get into the snow. Of course, they close that up sometimes when it's real bad. I can imagine when we got that snow, they were closed. Um, yeah, every day he calls. Yeah, he calls every day. Um, yeah. Yeah, those poor people on there. Yeah. When I got my hair cut yesterday, the lady that did my hair, she asked me if I heard about that Amtrak. And I said, yeah, I heard about that. She said, there was a guy on there complaining because he hadn't had a cigarette to smoke. He couldn't get out and smoke a cigarette. And he was wanting to get out so bad. And, um, they, you know, they were stranded and stuff, you know. And, and she was talking about how she smoked cigarettes. And she says, Doggone it, she says, I wish I'd never stopped. I wish I never started, she says, and I don't have the willpower to stop. I says, oh, but you do have the willpower to stop. Just tell yourself you don't need it. Um, yeah, I know, and I, and I told I told this woman yesterday what can happen if you, if you keep on smoking. She says, really? I didn't know that. She says, I better stop in right now. She says, she says when, I come, when you come back in, if I haven't stopped smoking, give me... H-E double hockey sticks. I'll, I'll, I'll just say it that way. I says, oh, I definitely will. I'll give it to you. I'll tell you, you better stop it right now. I, I talked to her yesterday. I was trying to witness to her. I says, you don't need to smoke. That's not good for your health. You're not supposed to do it. So I'm hoping and praying that she will stop. She says she wishes she had never started. Um, Hi, good to see you. Uh, <laughs> so it, it, you know, and I'm glad that I was able to talk to somebody because 
She's the one that started a conversation. Oh, he quit cold turkey? Wonderful. <laughs> Please adopt you. <laughs> well, I've got two kids and I've got six grandkids. Oh, yes, it is. It's quite addictive because it's the nicotine. It's the nicotine that they're addicted to. Once they start, they cannot stop. And she said that's what her problem is. She says she's tried to stop several times, but just doesn't have the willpower to stop. I said, but you've got to find the willpower to stop. You shouldn't be smoking. Don't do it. It's bad for your health. I said, you can get lung cancer. You can get heart disease. You can get emphysema. She did not know that. She said, well, I guess I better stop. She said, I better get the willpower and stop. She says, she's 42 years old yet. She says she's got kids. She says, I don't want to go and I will leave my kids alone. I says, no, you don't. You've got to start telling yourself that you can do it. So the next time I go in there in a couple of months, I get my hair cut again. If she hasn't stopped, I'm going to give her hell for it. Because I, she told me she wanted me to. Uh, <clears throat> oh, he wasn't walking. I bet he was. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes, that is a very good thing. How many kids do I have? I have two. One's in here right now. Laura, 0475. That's one. I've got a son and I've got a daughter. My son is a painter. He works through every day. Well, Monday through Friday. He paints. And my daughter, she's a caregiver for her sister-in-law, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for about three hours or so. Two hours, two and hours, 45 minutes. Or, or, but anyway, she's a caregiver. So I, uh, I'm appreciative of her doing that. Um... <laughs> Oh, there's another, uh, I'm going to get this out of there. What is this? This is a quick cooker. This is a pressure cooker is what it is. It's a, um, yes, I am. This here is a, this is the quick cooker from Pampered Shelf. This is what I'm cooking my broth in right now. It is similar to the Instapot. The same concept that the Instapot has, only the wording is different. When they tell you in, in, in a, uh, on the Instapot to saute, here we sear. When they say use the uh, so, uh, manual time setting, we use custom here. Um, how long does it take? Well, it's only got four minutes to cook yet, but it's, uh, it's got to release naturally. So it's going to take maybe a few minutes to release naturally. Um, and this didn't take near as long to come to pressure because I decided to use hot water. I ran hot water in the faucet. So I could bring, so I could put hot water in it because the vegetables were already frozen and I didn't want to put no, more cold water in there. It would be worse yet. So I wanted to bring it to pressure a little quicker. Um, I like this much better than the Instapot. If you had the Instapot and you start using that and then you use this, this is much better. I had problems with the Instapot would not come to pressure. And I think it's because it was defective. Although I've heard some people have had defective quick cookers. This one, however, is not. If you do it properly, <clears throat> you, you, won't get, you won't get burnt. And the fact that the Instapot has that lever and it's right next to the, where you release the steam, it's horrible. These two, like this, is where I push the button in there. See how far apart those are? You don't get burnt. This is so much, the concept of this is much better. There are something like 16 different program settings down here. Um... <clears throat> Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. I use that for a long time, too. I use that for a long time. Um, quite a long time, really. Um, and that was intimidating. That really scared the heck out of me. It really did. It really scared me. Because, you know, that thing would jiggle. But the problem of it was, I could never get it regulated right. Because it's on the stove. And I'd have to turn the... Uh, if it didn't, if it didn't uh, jiggle, I had to turn the pressure up. I had to turn the heat up. If it did jiggle too much, then I had to turn it down. Uh, it, yeah, they do. Um, I don't even think I even have one of those anymore. And I would never use it after using this. This is so much better. This is electric. It does a much better job. Pampered Chef did a lot of engineering on this. If I put this down just a little bit so you can see the settings on this. Oh, it's a learning process. See? See what I'm telling you? This has got your settings down here. And, and you can got two minutes to go now. Um, it's a, it is a learning process, absolutely. Um, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I can come in here and do this because everything is a, is a learning curve. This will not intimidate you. Don't let it intimidate you. It did not intimidate me. Some people I've seen on the Quick Hooker Facebook page have still got their sitting in the box from Christmas. They're afraid to get it out. They, it intimidates them. 
Why? I don't know. It shouldn't intimidate them. I mean, like I said, <clears throat> the, <clears throat> the presto I had on the stove, that was doggone intimidating. But this is not. This is not intimidating at all. Um, yes, this is very, very safe. Very, very safe. And I would never use that other pressure cooker at all. I've been wanting this, and I hosted a party last last month, and I was able to get this at 60% off. And that's why I did it in January, because I knew this is... Um, <laughs> well, just a little bit, Alexis, because I've been using it a little bit more. But you know it's easy, Alexis. You're doing fine. Uh, it just takes a little time. It's a, it's a learning curve. It's, it's trial and error. Um, yes, it does. Practice makes perfect. Um, I'm just going to let that go um, and uh, just leave it on, on warm for right now. And I don't have to turn on cancel, but it's done cooking for right now. And it'll, it'll start going the pressure up, but it'll slowly release the pressure itself. And once this red button here drops down, then I can release the, take the lid off. Um, but don't be intimidated. I'm going to put this up for a little bit. But don't be intimidated by any pressure cooker, especially this one here. Do not be intimidated by it because um, this is a very good machine. Instapot came out. Before this, this just came out in September of last year. I believe it was September. Now, you can correct me if I'm wrong, Alexis, but I know it was fall of last year. So they, I guess they, they did a lot of uh, engineering on this. They actually wanted to make it better than the Instapot, and I believe they have. Because when I, when I saw this compared to the Instapot, oh, man, I thought, oh, you have a 10-quart? Well, this is a 6. Um, 6 is, big, is, is, is enough for me. But you can put quite a bit in here. A 10-quart. Wow. My daughter-in-law got an 8-quart for Christmas, and that thing was humongous. Wow. Um, she need, But my, my daughter-in-law, she entertains a lot of people. She entertains a lot. Um, she has parties at her, or, uh, meals at her home, um, she, and they have Bible studies and stuff. So she has, she wanted the Instant Pot to be able to cook for all those people. And... So she uses it and is get good use out. My son got it. He got it off of Amazon. So he got it for her for Christmas. Um, but don't be intimidated by this. My daughter got hers. She did the quick water, the water test on Friday. Then she cooked in today and made potato soup. She said it was the best soup she ever had. Better than the crock pot. It would be a lot better. Anything that comes out of here is delicious. That's why my red lentil spinach soup, I ate it up. Because it was so mouth-watering. So very, very good. And I'm definitely going to make that again. I love it. And those that aren't following me on my on my um, vegan page, go to vegans, Karen's Vegan Heaven and follow me. Because we post vegan recipes on there. Erlene and I mostly do. Uh, you don't have to be vegan to, to come in my, my page. Um, and you can tweak the recipes any way you like. A lot of the recipes, you don't have to be vegan to make them. Like that, like that red lentil spinach soup. You don't have to be vegan to make it. Because it's all good things for you anyway. You know? Now, anything that takes eggs, um, I will substitute, use an egg substitute. You can use applesauce, or I can use a chia egg or flax meal. Now, um, Alexis was wondering about the cornstarch. Cornstarch is actually vegan, but I choose not to use it. I like arrowroot better than I do cornstarch. So I could use either one. But since I have arrowroot, and I will show you, you got this in powder form, Alexis. This is what it is. Um, it's a powder just like your, it is, just, it is a thickening agent just like, if you can see in here, it's a, it's a powder. And it's, it's, it's a, that's what it is. It's, it's arrowroot. And I got this off of Amazon. It's a thickening agent just like your cornstarch is. So, and I prefer this because um, it does a good job. I've, I've, I've been using that. Um, I prefer that over cornstarch, so that's what I use. So it's it's called arrowroot. You get that off of Amazon. Some maybe Whole Foods and Trader Joe's would even have it. I don't know. Walmart doesn't carry it. So, but <clears throat> if you're worried about cornstarch, that's what it is. I just don't use it. I ra rather use arrowroot. Potato starch is good too, or you could tapioca flour is another one. They all work similar to cornstarch. They're a thickening agent. So if you don't want to use cornstarch, use something else. You know. That's what I do. I use the um, arrowroot. So I don't know. I don't think it does. 
Um, no, she said it was just had corn, just corn. In it. I don't think it has aluminum that I know of. Um, I'd have to do my research on it, but I prefer um, arrowroot over cornstarch. That's why I use arrowroot. Um, I heard that from one of my other advanced friends that been using arrowroot, and I'd never heard of it before. And I started, I started getting it, and I started using it, and it does a real good job. Anything I have to make that that thickens up, it does a real good job of thickening it up. So, like I said, it works as similar as cornstarch. I just tweaked the recipes a little bit. Um, so, so, um, what is arrowroot? It is a. This is is made from a plant. It's made from a plant. It's all natural. It's gluten free and it's vegan. It's made from a plant. Um, and it's a, it's a product of Thailand. That's where it's, it's got, it's just got arrowroot in it. It comes, it comes from an arrowroot plant. And, um, so, so you can see it says it's all natural, gluten free and vegan. Um, but it's very good. Very good, very good thickener. So, um, so if you can get that at, at Amazon, you want to start using that. Like I said, it's white powder just like cornstarch. It's made the same. You know, all the same, 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 my same concept, just a different product. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> so I decided let's give you, give you a little information um, how things how things work on why I tweak the recipes like I do because I know Alexis was wondering about the cornstarch and I just didn't tell her that. Well, I could use it if I want to. I just don't want to. I pre I prefer arrowroot over over cornstarch. Um, so I started using arrowroot. I use tapioca starch once in a while too, which is, a, 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 <clears throat> that's tapioca flour. That's also a thickening agent. So I like that too. So when it calls for any, uh, cornstarch, then I decide if I want to use tapioca flour, if I want to use potato starch, which I don't have, or arrowroot. So I've got choices. So it, you know, it's, it's up to each individual preference. I'm not saying you're wrong for using cornstarch. I just don't prefer to use it. You know, anybody that wants to go ahead and use cornstarch, go right ahead. Because I'm not going to tell you you're wrong for doing so. But, you know, the whole idea of doing these things yourself is you can tweak the recipes to your liking. Because they're not set in stone anyway. Because there's always going to be something in it that you don't use. So you omit it. And then you might want to add something else that may not be in there. Um, that's what I do. Now, I don't use apple cider vinegar because of the fermentation. Because it's it's a fermented apple cider and I don't care for the taste of it anyway so I use lemon juice over that so um so I I do use I do use lemon juice lemon juice is real good I use lime juice as well so anything calls for like apple cider vinegar vinegar and lemon juice I can just double the lemon juice just add a little more lemon juice to, to replace the apple cider vinegar so that's basically what I do um but you take the recipes and you you tweak them to your liking because they're not set in stone, make them any way you choose, and I'm sure they'll be okay. Now, there are some recipes that you'll find that look real good. They, the, the, the picture looks real good, and you make them just the way it, it's supposed to be made. Because normally when I make something for the first time, I like to follow it. Unless it's got something in it that I omit anyway, like pepper or apple cider vinegar or whatever. Anyway, otherwise... I'll make it just the way I'm supposed to. For some unknown reason, sometimes they don't turn out very well. It tastes terrible. And I'm thinking, well, what did I do in this recipe that was so wrong? And I look at the recipe. Well, no, it's just that they aren't as good as they, they appear to be. So you're going to find recipes like that. And I'm sure that Alexis has found that too. That recipes, they look good on the surface, but when you start doing them, they turn out to be horrible. So therefore you scrap them and say, well, so much for that recipe. I'm never going to make that one again. So I don't. I don't make anything that, I, that, that I've that made before that didn't turn out. I've had a few recipes that, that bumbled on me. You know, and Alexis has had them too. Where she started out making something and ended up being something different. She's had pancakes flop on her already. But if you watched your Periscope this morning, I like that batter mixer. I think I'm going to get that when I have my party. That thing to make batter in. That's an ideal looking thing. It almost looks like the uh, uh, whipped cream maker on a bigger version of it. Um, yeah, I know. We all make mistakes. But, you know, you learn from your mistakes. I know I do. I learn from my mistakes. You know, and so I don't make the same mistake again. I'm, gonna, um, I'm glad. 
I'm glad that I can tweak them though, because like I said, no recipe is set in stone. You can check, tweak, tweak it to your liking and, and uh, oh, you're getting it too? Oh yeah, you're getting it too? Yeah. Yeah, I, I know it does, Alexis. It looks like it, <laughs> it looks like a bigger version of the, of the uh, whipped cream maker. <clears throat> Yeah, you know that's right. But I like the fact that she was using it to make those waffles this morning. And she just gave three squirts or whatever. Of course, the second one that she made, she kind of overfilled it a little bit. It was oozing out the side. But it really looked good. It really did. Um, oh, yeah, you'll have to, Alexis, because I don't think anybody knows that. And because you got that one piece on the inside that... You don't always put in there. You don't use it right away. So I never could figure that one out. So um, I know that thing on the bottom, you got to take the lid off on the bottom. Um, club soda. I've never heard of, I've never heard of making pancakes with club soda. That's a new one. Huh. I've got a few um, recipes for, for pancakes. And uh, now if I get that thing, um, need to double the batter. Okay, um, if I get that thing, which I want to get for my party, um, and just, and I'll just say this in passing, my party will be starting on the 17th of March, going till the 24th, so uh, you could order now if you want to, even though the party hasn't started yet, I think Karen Ames is the only one that ordered on my party so far, because I got an email on it saying that there, there was an order on my party, and thinking, oh my goodness, <laughs> it hasn't even started yet, somebody already ordered, but I'm going to order a few things. Definitely the seals, the quick cooker seals. I think they're two for twelve dollars. Um, two different colors, black and blue. Once for savory and once for dessert. So I think I like that idea a, a, a lot. Um, you didn't see it. Didn't see what, Erlene? Um, <clears throat> what didn't you see? Um, because I, I want to. I, I got confused there for a minute. You confused me. Oh, well, no, it starts on the 17th. It starts on the 17th of this month, early, 17th to the 24th. So um, I was able to, I'm able to go into Pampered Chef and, and check, and my party's already listed from the, at, uh, on the 17th to the 24th. And I was able to see that Karen Ames put an order in already. So if you want to order early, you can go ahead and order early. Um, yeah, yeah. Or Alexa said you can put the link in my Facebook group. Because um, it's coming up on the 17th to the 24th. We'll be playing games in there again like we did before. Um, so it's going to be a good time. Good, good time can be had by all. Um, so it'll be a lot of fun. Erlene's planning on hosting one maybe in August or whatever. But don't be afraid to, to host a party. Even if you don't make a lot. My daughter was scared to host the party with her sister-in-law, but they ended up getting up more than they thought. And it turned out not to be too bad after all. And I'm doing it again because I had so much fun in January that I, that I told her I would do it again. So she set me up for, for this month. So how, how much I'll do it after this, I don't know. But I decided I wanted to do it again, at least, at least for now. I may, may not do it the rest of the year and I may do it later in the year. I don't know. But I, I enjoyed it so much. Oh, uh, yeah, who two host of the month. That's what HOTM is, host of the month clubs. So she has two of them. So um, I'm going to be a host of the month starting March 17th. So, and I have to spend $40 to start with, which won't be hard to do because <laughs> Pampered Chef has got a lot of good products. I'm going to get those seals. Those are $12 right there. And I want to get that batter thing. Um, second club mid. Oh. Okay, so I'm in the second one. So she has two hosted months parties, and I'm and I'm in the second one. Um, but you're looking for one more person for the. Okay, she's looking for one more person for the for the H2, H H O T M two. She needs two hosts of the month for the second one. She's got me, and so if somebody else wants to host, um, get with Alexis. She's in here right now. She's got her profile. Her um, link is in my her, her, in her profile. Go and um, check her link out, and, and uh, she'll get you set up. You know, if you want to be a consultant, you want to be a host or anything like that, she'll get you set up um, because she's she's real good at doing that. And she will not force you to buy anything 
that she knows you will not use. If you want something that um, possibly, you know, you know you're not going to use, she's not going to sell it to you. She won't let you have it. And I wouldn't either. I don't buy anything I'm not going to use. Boy, I knew when I got this, I'd be using this thing. <laughs> I'm using it a lot more than I ever thought I ever would. It's so much fun to use it. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I'm just enjoying it immensely. I'm having the best time ever. Um, so, looks like my daughter got, my, got, got zapped, got uh, kicked herself out or, or, she, or froze up. But anyway... Um, don't be afraid to host a party. My daughter wasn't sure what to do, but you know, Alexis helped her every step of the way. We had games in there, and it was a lot of fun. Enjoyed it. Erlene won on one party. Oh, it's lagged. Oh, my. Um, Erlene won, on, I think, on Lovey Dove's party. Of course, Erlene, you put that gal into a party. She's bound to win. You might as well all bow out because she's going to beat you. She's going to win every time there's a party. I swear. She is a magnet for, for winning parties. I don't know how she does it, but she does it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> she won on yours too. Like I said, she's a magnet. The rest of us, we don't have any luck at all. Let her lean in the party. I says, I'm through. Let her lean have it because she's, <laughs> she's up to <laughs> Let me get this in here. So she is a magnet for winning. I tell you, she... I think that gal needs a rest, like Alexa said. She needs a rest because she keeps winning every party that she comes to. <laughs> it is so freaking funny how she keeps on winning. I don't know how she's doing it, but she's just doing it. She's, she's, she's just playing good at winning parties. Just playing good, you know. And I know she 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 uh, comes to my party and starts uh, starts uh, winning playing those games. She's gonna win on mine too. You can bet on it, uh, and it's it's really it's really something that she <laughs> that she wins so much. Uh, oh, you did! Wow, wonderful! Yes, Erlene's won a couple couple mystery hosts, at least one that I know of. She's won mystery hosts already. She won one when she got nine hundred and sixty in, in prizes, and she was opening box after box after box that day. And oh my goodness! Um, it's really something, but you know, I guess I could say it couldn't happen to a nicer person. You know, I'm always happy when she wins, you know, I don't get upset about it. I laugh about it because I think it's hilarious that she's won again. I always say, well, there she goes. She won again. You know, <laughs> oh, she won. T yeah, she won too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. You made up for it in your winning early. You sure did. Um, but I say it couldn't happen to a nicer person. And if anybody's going to win, it might as well be Arlene. Might as well. Let her win. You know, if she's destined to win, let her have it. I think I come close. But, well, it, um, on Laura's party, um, Alexis would message us and let us know that we were either too high or too low on some of the games we were playing. Well, I know I was probably way off on some of them. Because how are you going to guess marshmallows or little small things in, in, in a food processor? My goodness, you can't sit there and count them all. She had to count them individually to put them in there. And I'm thinking, oh, my goodness, she had fun doing this. And we're supposed to figure out how many's in there. Get as close as we can to the regular amount. I don't think anybody guessed it right on. Um, it's almost impossible to get it right on. But come close, as close as you could to the amount. I know I was way off on all of them. But you know something? I didn't care. I had the best fun playing those games. They are so much fun. I really enjoyed it. It was fun, 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 fun. And, you know, and and I, I know there's going to be a lot of, probably a lot of games at my party, too, where everybody can. Now, it was so funny at my party in January. I was watching Lucy. I was binge watching Lucy on, on um, Prime Video. Not the I Love Lucy show, but another part of Lucy was a, a later series, which I'm watching I Love Lucy now. I'm binge watching that and almost got it done. But anyway, she started posting things about Lucy. And she did not know I had been binge watching her. And that was so funny. It was so funny. She says, that is funny. Here I chose Lucy and you're watching Lucy. It was hilarious. So funny that she, she sent me pictures. Well, this is what I want you to post in your party. Something about Lucy. 
And, uh, and, I, and that's when I told her, I says, man, how funny this is. You're, you're having me post, Lucy, and I'm binge watching it on Prime Video. She had no way of knowing. Wasn't that funny? It could just come worked out that way. It just worked out that way. Oh, it's, it's, it, it should be ready to, to go down. It hasn't yet, but it should be. But it was just worked out. It was so funny to watch that, to, to see her give me things to post on Lucy. Uh, yeah, I do at night. I go to bed early. I lay in my bed and I stand my, my iPad up and I watch I Love Lucy. And right now I'm, I'm to the ones where, where they're taking the trip of Europe. And oh my goodness, she is so funny. And then, of course, I end up falling asleep during some of it. So I don't know what happened. And it's so over. Another episode started. I says, oh my God, I missed the other one. <laughs> so, so I had, to... <coughs> thank you for getting that, dear. So I'd end up for, for not seeing that episode. Of course, I watched them a long time ago, but I forgot some of them. So, um, but it is funny, but I like to binge watch that. And a lot of good shows. She had, um, wow, hundred dollars. Wow, my goodness already. <laughs> Ooh, not even started. Party doesn't start till the 17th after $100 already. Wow. Because <clears throat> I know when I first saw it, it was $42.50. So it's, well, that's good. <clears throat> like I said, if you want to buy, you can. Go ahead. I'm going to get me some water here. Oh, she'll post the link on my Facebook group. Oh, oh that won't happen for you. Well, you don't know, Arlene. You never know. But you know, having a Facebook group does ha help because a lot of people know me from the Facebook group. They also know me from here. And it does help that way because I'm able to have a party and people know who I am. They don't question who I am. See, Erlene, when she first gave a party, people didn't know her very well. They should have known her from Periscope, but they didn't equate that. She comes into my group and she... and. Uh, She's on here, but the more you're in here and the more you do, uh, you never know, Arlene. You probably win it again. You probably win another mystery host. You've won so many already. You know, I've I've lost track of how many times you've really won. I really have. <laughs> Welcome to Periscope for the very first time. You have won so much that it's just hard for me to keep track. I don't know. I've I've lost count, but you know. It's okay. You're having fun. You're doing great. You're enjoying yourself. Why not? You know, that's what it's all about. Those virtual parties like that. And I prefer to have them in Facebook because people are already in the group. They already know the person that's, that's having the party. And it makes it a lot easier to go ahead and get orders. Um, because uh, Erle Erlene's already got one, pe one person that wants to order from her when she has her party. So that's the start. You know, and I know she'll order for me. My daughter will order for, will order for me, um, definitely. So, and I'm sure I'll get a lot of orders. You know, and I'm thankful for that. If I don't get what I had in uh, January, that's okay, too. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right, Erlene. I didn't win anything, but it was just fun trying. Absolutely, it was a lot of fun trying. I mean... Try to count the marshmallows or try to count the beans or whatever she might have in those, a food processor or whatever. You know, it's, um, oh, you did. Wow, okay. But it's so much fun to, and I'm sure Alexis had fun putting all the stuff in the food processor and that, counting everything she put in there. And here I am. I'm not about to count that stuff because I can't. And I'm thinking, hmm, now how many marshmallows could she get in there? And I'm trying to figure it out, you know. What I should have done is had marshmallows and put them in mine and see if I could have figured it out. You know? <laughs> okay, thank you, Alexis. Okay, she just put she just put the link active in my Facebook group for my party. So you can go in there and buy. Now, and my party is Karen's Vegan Heaven. So if you want to buy anything, just go in there. She made the link active. So that's good. I'll get a good start on it because I plan on getting stuff myself. I have to get $40 worth anyway, which isn't going to be hard because you got that 
funny looking thing. It's almost like a whipped cream maker. That's I think sixty dollars. Then you got the uh, um, seals that are twelve. That's seventy two right there. So um, no, on uh, she's gonna probably link it up to mine. She's gonna put it on my group. Oh, we are early as it ends March. Yeah, March twenty fifth. Yeah, because I told her I wanted it to go a little longer. So it starts June, March 17th and ends March 25th. Starts on a Sunday and ends on a Monday. So uh, go through the new catalog. If you've got the new catalog, should be on Alexa's profile. Go through the new catalog and see what you'd like to have. Because the new catalogs are already in, came out on Friday. So go in there and check it out. She sent me the, the uh, host pack and I've got my new catalog. And I've been looking through that. It's like Christmas morning. Go through that catalog, deciding what you want. You know, some things are still the same, but there's some new things in there, too. Um, okay, good. Um, now, the quick cooker, that's one thing that has not changed price. It's still the same price. Um, it's $240 by itself without the accessories. You just get the wire rack. If you get the one that I've got with the accessories, that's $285. I only paid $114 for mine because I got because I was a host and I got 60% off. Um Okay, all the links are on pro are on Lexus's profile. So go look at go and look profile and go in Lexus's profile. All the links are there. She'll have my she'll have my group linked up to hers and go into her profile and you can get the links there. And all the uh, catalogs will be there as well. And uh, go to that catalog. It's like Christmas morning, and and trying to see what you want to get. You know, and I already know a few things that I want to get. Um, so. And I don't know how soon my pampered chef from Laura's party will come. I am assuming it'll come sometime this week. But I don't know if it had been, if if it would have been coming last week, it would have never made it because we had snow. So we have good weather this week. So, and I haven't got any information on tracking or anything, so I'm not able to track it. So, do you know approximately when it'll be coming, Alexis? Because I have not heard anything and seen anything on it. So, not that it really matters, because I know I'll be here to get it. But I just wanted to, because I will. I will uh, do a periscope and open the stuff up for you when I do get it. Um, so, and I don't think, I don't know how many boxes I'll be getting. Probably just one box, but um, it's always fun. It's like Christmas morning opening up those Pampered Chef boxes. Um, it was fun when I got this. I knew when I was getting this. This was in a box by itself. Then everything else was in another box. And I had so much fun, you know. And like I said, I didn't think I had the wire rack to this. and But it did come. It, I don't know where it fell down to now. But the wire rack, I do finally have it. Um, is, I don't know where it's at. Over here, I think. Here it is. Yeah. This is the rack that I thought was missing. It was in the box the whole time. I had to go out in the garage for something one day. And I says, you know, I'm going to go through that box. Something's telling me it's in the box that I missed it. It was. I went in that box and I and I missed it, so I let Alexis know right away that I, this was in there. So thank goodness it was in there because this goes on the very bottom. Then you have your cradle that goes on top of that with your ceramic pan or your or the spring form pan or whatever, you know, and because that's to cook two things at once. Because that's what this is for. You put a, like a roast on the bottom or whatever, and then sit this on on the top. Then you got your your ceramic pot that you put in there, you know, is it's. it's so you can cook more than one thing in time. That's what I wanted that for because I was missing it so bad. But I'm glad I found it. So now she doesn't have to worry. I've got it. I didn't have to inform Pampered Chef of anything. So I'm kind of glad I've got it. Uh, 28 minutes. I just got to make coming. It should be. I'll, it hasn't gone down yet, but we'll wait just a few more minutes. It should be just almost out pretty quick. Um, let me put this back. <clears throat> That anything happen to that, but because I'm going to use that for that strawberry cheesecake, um, I want to make that this week. Um, 30 minutes right now, it is releasing the pressure, it's already done cooking. It is it's, it's done cooking, as you can see, it's counting up because when it cooks, it counts down. This is keeping it warm. I didn't cancel it as soon as I if the pressure is down, I will cancel it and I will open it up and let you see what the color of it is. But this button is all the way up yet. It hasn't gone down yet. It takes a while because this thing is full. 
It'll nat naturally release pressure on its own. And what, one thing with this, any pressure cooker, when your valve is up as this is, it's a safety mechanism. You cannot open this lid. It is locked tight, tighter than a fiddle string. You cannot get it open. And that's for safety reasons. You don't want to try it either. Um, oh, you don't, you don't make enough, you don't use enough veggies. Well, I'm always using veggies for something. I wanted to make this because I have the scraps there and I saw the recipe and I found it this morning in my, in my thing that I, that I keep my recipes in. And I thought, because I know I saw it the other day and I saw, no, where'd I see that at? So I went and threw my, um, oh, she isn't a fan of veggies. Oh, you know, that's too bad because veggies are good for you. It doesn't matter what the veggies are, tomatoes or, or carrots or lettuce or celery or whatever. They're, they're good for you. You know, you should eat a lot of veggies. You're supposed to get, um, I don't know how many servings a day, but you're supposed to eat veggies every day. You're supposed to get a, a fruits and veggies. They're good for you. I don't eat enough. I try to eat apples or oranges, which I've got at oranges. I better start eating to help get rid of my cold again too. But, um, I love apples and I love oranges. I love pears. Um, mangoes are also good. Um, oh, yeah. Nope, that won't happen. You're right. But what can you do? She just hasn't l learned to like um, uh, veggies. Well, I, my son-in-law, Laura's husband, doesn't like veggies either. The only veggies he eats are peas. That's it. He won't eat any corn. He won't eat celery. He won't eat lettuce. He won't eat tomatoes. He won't eat carrots. He won't eat anything like that. So she, when she fixes stew meat, she can't put carrots and stuff in it because he won't eat it. It's a shame because he was never brought up to like veggies. He didn't, he didn't eat veggies when he was a child. So he never learned to like them. So therefore, he says, I don't like them. Well, my question is, if you've never tried them, how do you know you don't like them? You, you got to try them first. But he's not willing to try them. He should be willing to try them. Huh? Oh, he eats mushrooms? Oh, my goodness. Oh, he does eat those. Oh. Yeah, it does. Your, yes, your, ta your tastes do change. I found that in myself. As I get older, your tastes do change. I don't know if that's supposed to be that way, but my tastes have changed quite a bit, too. Um, I find I, I don't like some things I did as a child, and then some things as a child I like a lot better now than I did as a child. Um, oh, she does love mushrooms? <laughs> Well, that's something I don't really like too well. Um, I don't I don't put them in anything I, I make that calls for mushrooms because I don't care for mushrooms. I don't like the taste of them. If you don't like something, don't put them in the food. So I don't care for them, so I won't eat them. So I just leave them out. I figure everything's going to be good without them, and they are. You know, like shiitake mushrooms or cremini or whatever they have. I don't put any of them in there. So um, so I don't I don't like, like the taste of them anyway. You know, most of the stuff I eat, I like. Now, I've said before, some of you may have heard me say it, some may not. One thing, or there's two things, actually two, two things that I absolutely will not eat, and you can't make me eat them, and that's liver, and that's hominy. Those are two things that I will not touch. If somebody give me liver and give me hominy, I would throw it back at them. I cannot, I will not eat that stuff. I've had both, and I thought, it's just absolutely terrible. You know, I cannot stomach either one. Ah, yeah, I know. Yuck. Liver and, and hominy. Ooh, man. Ah, uh, yuck. Oh, not me. I hated it. My aunt served me hominy when I was living with her when I was growing up. And I couldn't stomach this stuff. I could not get that stuff down. I couldn't get it down, and I thought, what am I going to do? I can't. And she would try to make us eat everything off our plate. We couldn't We couldn't give it, have any dessert, and we couldn't get down from the table unless we ate everything. So I'd have a plate of hominy. I couldn't eat that stuff. Oh, I gag on it. That same thing with liver. I'm not about to eat something that I gag on. I eat something, for some reason, I can't stomach it. It affects my stomach in the wrong way, and I will not eat it. So, ugh. So don't put that on my plate. If you want me to eat anything, give me anything but hominy and liver. Ugh. You know, um, of course, like I said, mushrooms, I, I don't, I mean, I'm not saying I hate them. I just can't stomach the taste of them, so I don't even try them. But I hate liver and hominy a lot worse than I hate mushrooms. But, oh, 
Man, I tell you, I won't, I won't eat that stuff. But I'm sure there's other things that other people in here won't eat either. You know, I'm sure there's stuff that Alexis doesn't like. And there's probably stuff that she likes that her mom doesn't like. Or Bryce doesn't, you know, Bryce likes something that she doesn't. Or she likes something that Bryce doesn't. Um, you like hominy and soup? Oh, I don't want to even eat it in soup. I didn't have it in soup. I just had it just on my plate. Oh, my goodness. It was terrible. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Jeez. That stuff is the worst tasting stuff ever. It, all it is is corn. But it's it's the what the way it tastes. Ugh. Gross. It's white. White corn? No, it doesn't. It doesn't sound good, but it's gross. Ugh. Yeah. Huh. Well, plain or otherwise, I won't eat it. I won't eat it. Even if it had sugar on it, I wouldn't eat it. Forget it. I will not eat it. Oh, thank you for the... Oh, thank you, Rocky, for the super hearts. Thank you so much. I will not eat it. I can't stand it. I just cannot stand it. Oh, my goodness, look at the super hearts. Wow. Thank you so much for the super hearts. I sure do appreciate it. That's really going to help. Um, oh, well, I'll tell you one thing. You're not missing anything. You're not missing a thing. Don't You wouldn't want it either. Let me tell you. If somebody ever gave it to you, you take one bite of it. And you'd probably spit it out. That's what I did. Oh, I couldn't stomach it. And I'd sit at the table. Everybody else would be eating, and I'd be going at the table because I could not get that hominy down. I just couldn't. I got no dessert, but I couldn't eat that hominy either. Because she made us anything we took on our plate, we had to eat it. Well, little did I know that I would never like the hominy. I took it, but I didn't know I wouldn't like it. So after that, I never took it again. You know, so I, I mean, I can understand that. So if you put something on your plate, you eat it. Um, oh, I can understand that. <laughs> Yuck. That stuff is awful. Like I said, I had an uncle. He's passed on now, but he would eat um, at Thanksgiving time. My aunt would have to buy a bag of chicken gizzards, and he would eat nothing but gizzards. And they're real chewy, I guess. That's what he wanted. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Ugh. Uh, none of us would do that. We couldn't eat it. You know, and he'd eat the liver, too. He'd eat the liver and he'd eat the gizzards. Oh. Oh, yeah, onions do. Onions will. But there's some things you can't stomach. Now, garlic, garlic is good when it, when it cooks as well. It's got a good smell to it, too. <clears throat> but there's just some things that I just cannot stomach. I can't, I can't take, I, you know, things that I don't like, I'm certainly not going to eat them. I just refuse. Just refuse. I just don't want to do it. It's, oh, well, you know, but I'm one of these kind that there's not much I don't like. I mean, pretty much everything I eat that I make for myself, I like because I know I've had it before and I like it. But if I don't like something and I know I don't like it, I don't even buy it in the store. I walk right past it. You know, it wasn't until just recently, just been a few months now or something that I started eating zucchini. I'd never had it before. My daughter-in-law couldn't believe that. She says, you mean you never had zucchini before? Because the first time I used zucchini was in zucchini bread I had made on here. Um, Brussels sprouts, I like those. I do like those. I like cauliflower. I like broccoli. Now, my ex-husband did not like broccoli. He did not like cauliflower. He did not like, did not like Brussels sprouts. A lot of that is acquired taste. Brussels sprouts are just little baby cabbages. Um, he liked cabbage, but he didn't like those for some reason. Uh, and I, oh yeah, roasted, that sounds good, yeah. Yeah, cauliflower is okay. I eat cauliflower raw. I like cauliflower raw. Broccoli is good raw too. Of course, it's probably better for you cooked. But I'll eat it raw. I'll eat that raw and I'll eat, I'll eat, I'll eat both cauliflower and broccoli raw. Um, anytime. But, no, balsamic vinegar. No, my daughter likes balsamic vinegar. Um, I love asparagus too. Now, I won't eat that raw, but yes, I do eat asparagus. I love that. Um, yes, I do eat asparagus. I love it. Oh, that's one of my favorite vegetables. Asparagus is really, really good. I love it. I would, I'd eat that anytime. I love it. I'm fixing it. Um, another thing that I like, and it's not a vegetable, but it's a fruit, is rhubarb. I love rhubarb pie. If you've never had a rhubarb pie, it's so good. <clears throat> it's hard to get it real sweet, though, because rhubarb is kind of bitter, kind of tangy anyway. Um, 
grilled asparagus. I've never had it grilled, but I love asparagus anyway. It's good. It's very, very good. Let me get some more water. But like I said, there's just so few things that I won't even eat. Um, oh, strawberry. Oh, yes, yeah, strawberry and rhubarb pie. It's so good. Just absolutely delicious. Very good. Really, really good for you. <coughs> I'm just wondering how close this is to having the steam out of it. It's been over 30 minutes. I'm wondering if I could release it anyway. Try to release it, see. Yes, I eat radishes too. I can eat those raw. But they can be a little um, hard to eat sometimes too because, boy, you get, and they're hot. They can be really hot. So I do eat radishes though. They're good on salads, you know. Um, and I like the concept of that um, salad spinner. I may get that because I was watching Alexis's replay the other day when she was cleaning the lettuce and stuff and how she put it in the stain. And with stainless steel bowls, I like to get those. And I may, I may get those because I like the fact they got lids for them. That would probably keep the lettuce a lot better than glass would. So I'm thinking maybe getting those. And for strawberries and that too, like she said, you put like a Scott towel in there to kind of absorb the moisture. Because I like the way she cleaned the strawberries. Um, but that's what I figured, Alexis, it would be. Because most of the time, um, your lettuce will turn brown. It doesn't take very long for it to turn brown. You know, and I thought, well, that looks like it would stay fresh longer. That's probably one of the things I'll get for my party, definitely, is that salad spinner. And I'll get those salad and those bowls. It's a set of three bowls for $100, those stainless steel bowls. Thus, because they've got lids to them. And that's why I like the fact they have lids. Uh, yeah, you'll have to bring it out. Yeah, you, you'll have to use it, Alexis, before it decides to turn on you. <laughs> it, it, it could turn on you any time, but that's good that it's fresh like that. You always have a good salad. Um, once I get um, those salad bowls or I get the salad spinner, Salad and berry spinner. I'm going to do that. Clean strawberries and keep them in a stainless steel bowl or whatever. Th last three weeks. Wow. Wonderful. But strawberries, I find, they rot so fast in the refrigerator. I mean, they do. If I can mean, I can wash them and everything before I can get them used. They're, they're all brown and bruised and they just don't last worth a bean worth beans. But you put them in like in a stainless steel bowl, I bet they would last a lot longer because they're, you know, maybe, maybe it's the type of, of uh, you know, you're using metal instead of glass. I don't know, but I've got stuff I put in glass and it doesn't last as long as, as, as it would otherwise, you know, it's funny, but I'm going to try that. See, because I like your concept of, of washing the lettuce. That's a good idea. Washing lettuce and spinach or anything else you have and keeping it clean. That, that's a good idea, you know. And I know that salad spinner's in there. I saw it. I've been looking at that catalog, like I said, and it's like looking at, at a, a catalog for Christmas because there's all new stuff in there. Well, some stuff in there is new, not everything. You know, because we got still some of the stuff from the uh, fall and winter catalog. But, you know, you still have your rock crocs and um, stuff like that that's on that. Isn't that... Isn't the rock crock this month? I think the stoneware was last month and the rock crock is this month. This is, that's the uh, special. Because I don't think people want rock crock. That's the time to get it. Um, what does help? Strawberries last much. Oh, the little green vegan bag. Hmm. Veggie bag. I don't have a little green veggie bag. I need to get one of those. I, I didn't know you there was such a thing. You know. Um, that's what I thought the rock crock. Um, I, I'm just wondering if I would really use it because I know you can, you can put it in the, in the microwave on the stove, in the, um, in your oven. Um, okay. Put the green, green bag. Now, where do you get those green veggie bags? Cause you put that in there and keep reusing. Where do you get those green veggie bags? Because I'd love to have one of those because are they, uh, something special? Oh, anywhere. What is, is, it's just, just a green veggie bag. Just, it's just, just all green. Does it have a picture or anything on the front of it? Because I need to find that. I'm going to have to check that at Walmart, see if they have any. Because I need to get me something like that. I don't think Pampered Chef has any that I know of. Any green bags like that. 
because strawberries are always going bad on me. You know, so fast. I love them too, but they want to go. They want to go spoil so fast, and it kind of irritates me too. You know, because I want to eat them, and and you got to cut the cut the um, spoiled stuff off. And I don't want to eat them if there's any spoilage on them at all. It's like bread. If it's if it's moldy, don't eat it. Uh, oh yes, at Kroger and yes at Walmart. Okay, I've got both. I've got a store here called Fred Myers that was bought out by Kroger that. Um, what should have it then? I'll have to check. I was there, oh, a couple of weeks ago. I probably didn't even know they had them. Uh, very common item. Exactly what part of the store would it be in, though? Where could I look for it? Because I don't know exactly where to look for it. If you tell me exactly where it would be. Because at Walmart, I, I go to that store so much, I know pretty much where everything is at. Is it at a certain special place in the store? Is it in the grocery part itself? Is it where the veggies and stuff is? Or... Um, it's different in different stores. Okay. I All I can do is ask them if they have the green veggie bag. Um, because that sounds interesting. Um, <clears throat> and the food side of the stores. Oh, that's what I figured. Okay. Because I go I go through the deli and so much. And I never noticed it there. Unless it was there and I just passed it by or something. But I never really noticed it. Um, okay. All right. Um, a gallon bag. <clears throat> I filled this up, this gallon bag, and I use, what I do is when I fix anything that calls for carrots, celery, I cut the, I, I uh, peel the carrots, cut the ends off, cut the ends off the celery, and sometimes the tops, like the leaves and stuff, and I'll put them in, I'll put them in the, in the, in for the broth. You know, and I did potato peelings this time, too. Um, yeah, just keep going until it's filled up. It only takes one. The recipe I'm doing takes one. Now, there's one that re that Alexis is doing. She she has quart bags. She's filling up quart bags. But I thought it would be a lot easier just to do a gallon bag. It takes a little bit longer. But I found the recipe for it. It only takes one gallon bag. Just eight to nine cups of water. A teaspoon of turmeric. And two teaspoons, it said, of uh, uh, garlic, minced garlic. But I, uh, people know I don't use minced garlic, so I just took a clove of garlic and, and pressed that up. Um, what did I add? A tea, uh, let's see, was it one teaspoon of turmeric? I think it was. Um, yeah, one teaspoon of turmeric. And it says two teaspoons of, of uh, minced garlic. I didn't use minced garlic. I used the, the garlic press, and I took just one clove. It was a pretty good size, and I cut it in half and just just pressed that. So that's all I used. So I don't think it even made two teaspoons, but I don't think it really matters that much anyway. So, but that's what I that's what I used. I could have used another uh, clove. I'll see how this is going to taste, and if it needs another clove the next time, then I use another clove. But I didn't want to overdo because garlic can be quite potent if you use too much at one time. So I didn't want to I didn't want to do that. So that's why I, I don't know if I can go ahead and, and try to. I'm going to see if I can try to release the rest of this. I hope I don't get in trouble for doing this, but let me go ahead and try to release this and see if there's anything left. There might not be much left, but I'm going to push on it anyway. Well, it's just about out anyway. Okay, there it goes. It would have, it would have eventually gone down in a couple minutes anyway. Okay, here we go. Let me turn this around. And let me... Oh, I can smell it. Let me get this... And let me um, take this lid off. Let me turn this around so I can take the lid off. I love these handles on here. These are awesome. Let me unplug this. I'll have to strain this. Um, wow. You have to strain it out. It has to be strained out. But I can let you see. Let me get my grippers and I guess you see what it looks like. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll strain it out later then I'll take a picture of it and put it on my Facebook group. But uh, let's see. Uh, get up here. There we go. See? That's what it's going to look like. Once I strain it out you'll see. It don't look like it's going to be real real dark. So I have to I'll have to strain that out. Um, it's going to take a little time to strain it out. It's going to make quite a bit. So, 
Um, I'm going to put this here. And I'll let it sit here. And I'll straighten it out. I'll straighten it out later. And then I'll put it on Facebook so that you guys can see it. Because I'm going to have to rest my voice in a minute before it really gets hoarse and can't, I can't talk at all. Okay, there we go. All right. Now you can see a little bit that it's not real bad. See, I'll just strain this all out. See, I did put a lot of vegetables in there. Um, 12 for $15. Bio grade. Bio trade. Oh, okay. 12 for $15. Oh, okay. Thank you for telling me. But uh, this is basically what it looks like. Probably cheaper on Amazon. Yeah, I imagine it probably would be. I'll have to go look that up. I can have them shipped to, for, to me from Amazon. But basically, this is... I'm going to strain this out. I don't want to take the time to do it here, but... I'll pull, I'll strain it out off camera, and then I'll let you see what it looks like. Uh, yeah, I know. It sure is. It's going to be a lot. Uh, in fact, I could, let me just go ahead, and I can start straining it out. See if I can I got, put, find a bowl or something to put this into for right now. Um, <clears throat> I'll put my big, put it in my, I can put it in my big, my big glass bowl for right now. It'll fit in there, I think. Whoa. Put it in there for right now. There we go. Now, let me put this back on here and then I'll, I'll get the, put this back. Okay, and get my strainer here. And I'll get my, I've got a ladle here. Because you want to strain this out. You don't want to, you don't want to leave it. Because I want to see what the broth is going to look like. Of course, then these scraps get thrown away. You don't use these again. Oh, I can see it's going to be a, it's a light color. That's what it is. It's a light color. Just do a little bit at a time. I'll put, put this down so you can see it. See, that's the color it is, Alexis. That's the color it is. <laughs> see? That, that looks like a real, going to be a real good broth. Wow. A real good broth. Ah, sorry about that. Somebody tried to call me. I was, it was not by anybody I knew anyway. I declined it because I don't know who they are. It's probably a doggone spam call. I get so many of those spam calls. Let me put this in here. Let me bring this back over here and I can. There we go. Whoa. Oh, I spilled my water. That's all right. Now you can watch me do this. Now you can see what color it's going to be. I know because Alexis was kind of interested to see what color it was going to be. And I use nine cups of water, as it said to use eight or nine cups of water, so I use nine cups. So that ought to be, this ought to be real good for soup or anything else that I need to, uh, um, you know, basically soup is basically a lot of it is for soup. Of course, this, this, all this has to get thrown away. This, uh, broth has to get, or the, not the broth, but the, uh, this all gets thrown away. You know, I don't don't keep this, but I'm just this is my, this is a real good strainer. I bought this a while back, I think at Walmart it was, and uh, I'll try to clean my water up on my stove. It got all over my stove. My glass of water fell over, but that's all right. <clears throat> at least it's water, nothing else, so it's not gonna. Um, there we 
go. Now you can see it's, I've almost got this empty. Getting down to the very bottom of it. Like I said, this all is just, is just, the, just the scraps. Just the scraps is all I used. Um, I didn't see what your comment was about zucchini bread. Um, I have made zucchini bread, yes. Um, and here's even some, too. there's even, I think, cucumbers or zucchini, zucchini ends in here, too. There's potato peelings in here. Move it around someplace else so I can. Oh, you can see how dark it is. Look how dark it really is. I'm going to take some of this out of here. See if it's going to. There we go. Let's put this in here. And I'll dump it out, but I want to get some of this out of here so I can get a little bit more stuff in here. This is just about empty. Now that bowl worked fine. That bowl really worked well. My hands are clean. I'm just going to pull this out of here and put this in here. Yeah. See how dark that really is? Now you can see how dark it really is. I know Alexis was concerned about what the color of it was. It's all out of here. Because I don't want, don't want this going down my sink. I got my one side of my sink that I can't use because of the of uh, the garbage disposal. The garbage disposal went out, so I have to wash my dishes on the other side. So I'll put this back for right now. Okay. Now you can see what it looks like. There's my broth. That is a deep color. Look at that, Alexis. Wow. Isn't that deep? What do you think of that? Do you think it's too dark? Because that, that is a dark color. Um, and I've got some jars I think I can put this into. You can put it in the refrigerator, or you can also freeze it too. Okay, I had, no, you can see what kind of stuff I had. I had carrot, I had carrot peelings, carrot, uh, carrot uh, ends, celery ends. I had some potato peelings in here. I didn't put onions in it, however. Um, uh, I think it was a zucchini or cucumber, cucumber I had in it. Um, that's basically, basically carrots and, and uh, celery and potato right now. And I think I might have a little pepper and stuff in it too. It's just whatever I used for the uh, um, things that I made. I'm going to take this out of here so I don't get water on it right now so I can clean this off. Hey, no you don't. That little goober's taking my slipper outside. No, you get that back here. No, you don't. Get back here. Uh-uh. Sorry about that. I took my slippers off. Now he's wanting to take them outside. He, he, he uses them as a chew toy. Uh, oh, is that why it's darker color? Um, yeah, if I left it, if I'd have left it out, Alexis, it probably wouldn't have been quite as dark. But I tried it. It said you can use potato skins. But I don't think it looks bad at all. Yeah, well, I, I did use potato skin, so that might have had something to do with it. That's what Alexa said. Darker color will, um, the potato skins make it make it a darker color. But my mine's more amber. Um, does it really matter if it's darker or lighter? Because I, you know, does it really matter? I mean, I think it's still going to be good anyway. Um, It really is. It really is a. It really looks nice to me. You know, I can't. I can't believe that it came out as good as it did. Oh, good. I didn't think it really mattered whether you use potatoes in it because they said you can. I'm just going to leave this sit here to cool off before I put in something else. But I did want to strain it out so you could see it. Um, it does look really nice. It really does. I mean, I'm really pleased with it. Now that I know how to make the make this broth. I'm going to make it my, I'm going to make it. I'm just going to take, 
I know this is hot, but I just want to take a little bit of it on a spoon and taste it. Yeah, broth is, you know, different. Oh, somebody, what'd they say? Um, oh, and... Oh, 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 it does look good, doesn't it? Well, you know, um, this is this is better than water, you know. No, it doesn't have any salt or pepper. It just called, it's got turmeric in it and garlic in it, plus the uh, gallon of the uh, your scraps. This is all my scraps. And uh, carrots and celery and, and uh, a little bit of potato skin, not much, but uh, maybe next time I won't. Yeah, you're right. It's free, Alexis. You're right. Absolutely, it's free. But look how good it looks. It looks real good. I'm going to have to let this cool off before I can put it in anything. But I wanted to strain this out so you could see what it looked like. Because you were kind of curious. Yeah, I know. I And actually, I use this a lot, <coughs> use this a lot over, over water for soup anyway. Uh, yes, turmeric. Um, this is what turmeric is. This is a spice. This, this is organic turmeric. It kind of gives it a color. It's a different flavor. This is very good for you. Uh, yeah, it did. It did make a lot. For one gallon bag, it certainly did. Because um, normally your boxes that you buy in the store, those 32 ounce boxes, that's four cups. Uh, and this is going to make a lot. This is almost like two boxes of worth. Oh, I think it probably does. Turmeric is good. It's like cumin. Cumin is good for you, too. But I think uh, I like this. Uh, maybe next time I won't put potato, pe potato peelings in it, but I think that's okay. Uh, yes, it is. That's why if you start making enough things, use veggies, carrots, whether you eat them raw or whatever, just peel them and save them in a bag. And you, after a while, you'll get enough that you can start doing this. And that's exactly what I'm going to start doing. In the meantime... Once this is gone, then I'll still have to buy some more. But it's a lot better when you can make it yourself. You know, it, to me, it makes the soup a lot better tasting than plain water. It really does. A lot better than plain water. Because, and like I said, I do have, I do have an, a book, an Instapot book that I bought at, at Kroger's. That it has, I think, I don't know, 250 recipes or something in it. It's got one, it's got a vegetable broth in there, but you use carrots and celery and stuff. Use the actual vegetables to make it. Huh. How to follow me on Facebook. My name is Karen Waterston on Face. Just, just, uh, and if you want to, if you want to join my, 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 same one tried to call again. Uh, so, um, sorry about that. He tried to call me again. I declined it the second time. Um, anyway. If you want to follow me, it's Karen Watterson. I also have a vegan group called Karen's Vegan Heaven, if you want to join that. Um, I do have a Pampered Chef party starting the 17th of this month. The Alexis has already got the link activated. You can buy now for the party. Um, not Water Stun, Water Sun. S-O-N, W-A-T-E-R-S-O-N, and separate. Um, and, that's, and if you want to be in my, uh, join my group, then join the Facebook group. Because that's where my virtual party is going to be is through my Facebook group. It's a lot, it's a lot easier than than having having it on a catalog party because I because people people know me on, on my Facebook group. And I've got something like I got well over 200 members. It keeps growing. Um <clears throat> 230, 240, something like that. I did lose some because of the of the um rules that Facebook now has. Um, but there are questions set up, and, and Alexa set them up. Anybody joins my group, you have to answer the questions. If people don't answer the questions, I don't. I decline them. They have to answer. If they answer, they can't answer them all, but they can at least answer one or two. I, I approve them. But they have to answer the questions. So, um, and and I I love I love Pampered Chef products. That's why I come in here. I do what Alexis does. I teach people how to use Pampered Chef tools. You can see I made made broth in the quick cooker, it can be done. You could probably do it on the stove as well. So um, if you wanna if you wanna try to make this yourself, then if you have an Instapot, because that's an Instapot recipe, just go ahead and make it. Um, 
and I'm hoping I'm hoping that it comes out good for you like it did for me. You can see what it looks like, and it really looks good, and it's going to be healthier, healthier than what you buy in the store, because I know what's in it. I know what's in it. It's my own homemade vegetable broth. Um, I think I'm going to go for now, because I'm going to um, clean my kitchen up a little bit and throw this broth and uh, throw this stuff out. Um, yeah, you're right. Less salt. Doesn't have any salt in it. It's just got the turmeric and the garlic. So, but I thank you all for coming in and sharing this out. And I hope your night goes well. And I hope, and take care. God bless. Until we meet again. Bye-bye. You're welcome.